morning. Let's talk about this Moderna development. Mm -hmm. And um, I think people are wondering if Moderna's booster is so good, should they go with Moderna even if they had a different original vaccine? Um, it doesn't really mean that. No. But, it, but it's both things are good. Last week or two weeks ago, Pfizer reported that the antibodies went up 25-fold. Yesterday, Moderna reports 37-fold with the booster dose, and if they give the 100 microgram, the regular standard dose, it went up 83 times. All that is good, and that protects you. I think the point to remember is, with just two doses, you're basically, with this Omicron, no protection. Mm. All right, you have to have the booster. All right. So get the booster. Either one is fine. Yeah. Those, oh. are, those are phenomenal, not 25%, 25 times. 25, uh. 37 times, yeah. 83 times, I that's think pe important. People hear that though and they're thinking, well, is the vaccine working then? If, I mean, it, why did we get the vaccine in the first place? To explain to people why it's yeah. still good to get it. The vaccine is still keeping people out of the hospital. It's keeping people like Elizabeth Warren there on TV, keeping her safe. You know, she's not gonna go in the hospital. You're not gonna die. The hospital's full of unvaccinated people. You're not vaccinated, you're in big trouble. Uh, Pfizer said that uh, their vaccination did not work with, with kids. Um, oh. Is that an easy tweak to fix or is that a That's problem? That's a different story altogether. Mm -hmm. So, you know, with Pfizer, adults get 30 micrograms, kids 5 to 11 get 10, and then they were studying six months to four years, they got three. It didn't work. Mm -hmm. So they're going to do two things. One, they're giving a third dose, just like we do with the booster with adults. We shouldn't even call it a booster. It's a three-dose vaccine, let's okay. just face it. So they're, good, they're trying the three doses with the kids, and if that doesn't work, they're going to have to try a higher dose. Okay. All right, let's get to some viewer questions. This person says, I'm taking antibiotics for a C. diff infection. Can I still get a COVID booster? Absolutely. No, no problem with that uh, interaction. Okay. Right. Uh, next question. My son in New York City had COVID the week after Thanksgiving, right before he was supposed to get boosted. He was sick for about a week, fever, sore throat, congestion, and still doesn't have taste or smell. Without knowing which variant he had, should he wait to get boosted at this point? Well, he had the Delta variant just because of the timing. Uh, that's 99% uh, chance. Everyone who's had COVID, as soon as they've recovered, if they haven't had the booster already, get the booster. Those people are called hybrid patients. They even get a bigger response than what we were just talking about. Hmm. All right. Next question. My dad has had all three <laughs> Pfizer shots and is starting chemo. What extra precautions do we need to take? Quite a few because his immunity could really go down with the chemotherapy. He, uh, on the 8th of um, December, so just a couple, just last week, uh, a new monoclonal antibody was approved called Evusheld by AstraZeneca. It's for people just like this person, mm -hmm. at risk. It's intramuscular, basically a shot. Uh, and you take that once every six months, it gives you antibodies and still working against Omicron. All right, next question. How long will the booster last due to underlying symptoms? I received my booster at the end of August. I have had the booster about four months. Will I need another updated booster soon? You're gonna need another booster, but the question is when? Nobody knows. And by the time six months comes up from the people getting their first boosters, most likely there's going to be a new vaccine or it's going to be soon thereafter because both Pfizer and Moderna are making new vaccines. All right. Well, if you didn't get your question answered, Dr. Murphy answers them biweekly at Northwestern's Institute for Global Health Facebook page. You can also submit questions via email. Or head to our Morning News Facebook page and post one there. We'll talk to Dr. Murphy again Friday. Merry Christmas. Yeah. See you. Thank you See for you Christmas coming Eve. in all I don't know long. if you're working Christmas Eve or not, but uh, I'll be here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be?